Hello world, I'm Rich and this is Rich's World Beer Tour. Hey, it's Minnesota Monday and I've got a couple of things for you. I um, want to give a plug to uh, a local band. Uh, if you're around the country, around the world watching this, um, check these guys out. They've been around for a while. They've come back with just an incredible album. It's a local band, The Suburbs. Now these guys have been around since the late 70s. I saw them way back, snuck in in high school at the Longhorn and First Avenue to see these guys and honest to God they're one of the best five bands that's ever come out of the state. Just incredible, incredible band. Uh, C. Sauvage from the suburbs. Nice cover. Hugo and Chan and Beach. they got it together. I even got an autographed copy of the band. There they are years, years later. They are still putting out some great stuff. Uh, early stuff off of In Combo, uh, um, Love is the Law, that kind of stuff. Check them out on YouTube. Incredible band. If they're ever near you, check them out. Along with, I, I helped fund the album a little bit through uh, Crowd Start or whatever it was. They even gave me uh, beer coasters. It works. They're a great band. If they're near you, check them out. Great show. Um, otherwise, get on YouTube and check them out, man. Uh, and and buy, their, buy their stuff. Uh, if you like danceable, a little bit of funk, bunch of punk uh, attitude, garage band, just a great band. Anyways, a little uh, Minnesota Monday plug for them. Today we've got War and Peace Imperial Coffee Stout. Let's see if you can see that up there. War and Peace Imperial Coffee Stout from Fulton Brewing up in Minneapolis. Fulton Brewing Company. It says War and Peace is a Russian Imperial Stout aged with peace coffees Guatemalan organi organic, organic dark roast. They put a pound of whole beans per barrel uh, directly to the tank and let it infuse for nearly a week. Um, I've had their Russian Imperial Stout. It's a knockout. Um, and I'm, I've been digging the coffee stouts lately, so this one's a fight to get off. A little bit of, a little bit of zip there. Got to show off some of our uh, good local music. Uh, I couldn't control the stereo from here, as I was. Uh, otherwise, I would have uh, thrown out a little "Love Is the Law" as we did it, or uh, "Chemistry Set," or some of the old burbs. Check that out. Jet Black. About a finger and a half, two fingers worth of head. It's just a gorgeous looking beer. <laughs> as you would, as you would expect, coffee nails you right away. Oh. It's like walking into uh, a coffee house. Just an incredible smell. Along with that, there's some burnt uh, burnt malts. Oh, it's nice. Uh, th that coffee really uh, rings out, but the burnt malts are in there too. You know, I was going to wear my suburb shirt. Uh, I hope you're watching this, John. My son, John. I'm sure that's where my suburb shirt is. Is uh, down in Texas with him. Dad wants his uh, suburb shirt back, dude. Oh, the the, uh, the burnt malt, a little smokiness, but that coffee, it's like walking into a coffee shop, all that fresh ground. That's nice. Let's give it a try. Cheers, world. Oh, yeah. Just as as the as the uh, oh man, this is just coating my mouth. The coffee's everywhere. It, it's fresh, nice coffee. And I, again, I'm not a coffee drinker, but this this is really I might become one. This is nice coffee all throughout. Creamy, smooth. There's all this other stuff going on. Oh, that, boy, this is nice. All the way through. Um, oh, there's, there's more flavors. It, it, I mean, it hits you right away, the coffee. Then there's that, that dark roast, that burnt roast uh, uh, that I'm tasting. There's some smokiness to it. There's all this chocolate in there. Caramel, vanillas. Um, Oh, and then the, there's kind of a, towards the end, a little acidic uh, coffee aftertaste, uh, kind of a burnt uh, dark roast. Uh, 
man, this is just smooth and nice. The alcohol, I don't even know if I said what it is. 9.5% ABV. You know, there's no no date on there. I think this is fresh. Uh, it just came out, but uh, 9.7. It's hiding it well. No, oh, that coffee, all that stuff. This is really nice. Um, this is a 9.75. Oh, the more I'm trying it, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm going on and on. All those little chocolates, all that caramel sitting behind it, all that dark roast. There's a little charred smokiness in there on uh, the coffee. Anyways, if you're, um, if you're looking for a good coffee stout, this is absolutely a winner. Uh, I've seen people that have reviewed it around the country, so maybe there's a little bigger distribution than I thought, but uh, War and Peace. Uh, Imperial Coffee Stout Fulton Brewing there we go Fulton Brewing out of uh, Minneapolis and uh, thanks for joining me for another uh, Minnesota Monday uh, this is truly 9.75 if you tried it throw your comments down but if you haven't also grab that little local music plug for the suburbs give them a holler uh, another Minnesota band that's still going after all the years thanks for sharing a beer world cheers